as we come back from commercial, they show the Aces and Eights uh, hang out with Bully Way and the rest of the Aces and Eights throwing back some cold ones as they wait the, uh, await the arrival of AJ Styles and his decision whether or not to join the Aces and Eights or not. We then go to the ring where Kurt Angle and Ander Mr. Anderson make the entrances. AJ Styles is shown coming into the building on his on a motorcycle. He's not wearing the Aces and Eights cut as of yet. Or he may not be wearing it at all. He may not wear it at all tonight. Or ever. But no indication of whether or not he's really joining the Aces and Eights or not. But during the... We go back to the wing and we have Kurt Angle and Anderson going back and forth. This goes on for a couple minutes before AJ comes walking in through the Aces and Eights entrance. And uh, Taz looks like he's happy to see him. Puts his arm around his shoulders. AJ does nothing but stand there and look at uh, Angle. Angle gets distracted. Anderson hits the whole blow on Angle. Rolls him up. Gets the one, two, three. As AJ stands there and watches. Once, this is, once Anderson's hand is raised, AJ walks, turns around, walks back through the Aces and Eights entrance. So what does this mean? Does this mean AJ's with the Aces and Eights or not? We'll have to wait to find out, but coming up next, James Storm chooses his uh, partner for Slammiversary. Uh, who's he going to pick? Is he going to be another original? Or is it going to be someone we haven't seen or haven't seen in a while? We'll have to wait to find out. James Storm comes to the ring to make his decision. Uh, Chavo and Hernandez are on commentary to watch this. The tag team champions. James Storm is interrupted first by uh, Aries and Rude. With Rude telling Storm that he basically carried him through his the bill money. Phase and how it felt so great to break that bill bottle over Storm's head to become the world champion. And it really doesn't matter who his partner is. That's Slammiversary for the four-way tag title match. They just want to see who it is. This brings out Daniels and uh, uh, Kazarian Bad Influence who basically make jokes about the other three teams. This leads to the return of one of the best gimmicks in TNA. The return of Mr. Show, oh, yeah. Shot Boy. And return to the TNA Impact to volunteer his services to be James Storm's tag team partner. This brings out Wabi E, who also volunteers, claiming he has names set up for them, including uh, Bill Blow and others like that. Storm doesn't know what to say until Wabi E and Shot Boy start fighting each other. Start trying to uh, push on each other. This leads to a to the return of the Mr. Intensity Gunner coming from somewhere on the crowd, sliding in the wing and basically destroying both Short Boy and Wabi E. <coughs> and staring down Storm and Storm says, uh, see you at the pay per view and shakes his hand, declaring, it will be James Storm and Gunner. And as a tag team face in the four-way tag title match against Bad Influence, hashtag Dirty Eels, and Chavo and Hernandez, the tag team champions. But coming up next, we have Mickey James challenging for the knockout championship against the champion, Velvet Sky. <laughs> We're in the middle of the knockout title match. Mickey James versus Velvet champion, Velvet Sky. <laughs> Mickey James looks like she's in the control, rounding. That was guy. I forgot to mention earlier that when they came back from one of the commercial breaks, Gil Cam was doing an interview backstage with one of the cameramen talking about Taylor and Terrell. Saying that she didn't understand why Taylor wants their match at anniversary. Because Gil Cam basically took her out a couple weeks ago with that figure four around the wing post. Gil Cam talking Taylor and Terrell down, talking about how She's taking out all of her competition in Velvet Sky. Taylor and Taylor. And this goes on until Taylor comes from out of camera view and spills Gail Kim through a 
door that was behind Kill Kill. And they go back and forth until the former Simon Diamond, Pat Kenny, comes in to break them up. So that looks like that was heating up for the people. But what's gonna happen with Mickey James and Velvet Sky? I'm kind of seeing a tease of a heel turn here for Mickey James, but I'm not too sure of that. We'll have to wait to find out. See you in a couple of minutes. Our main event match ends in a wealth of a relatively shock, shocking turn of events as Mickey James captures the TNA Knockouts Championship for the third time by uh, no, no failures means as Velvet Sky gets the Wally Bird head scissors but we enjoyed her already bad knee and doing so Velvet's on the ground clutching her leg in pain she tries to stand up but Mickey James either feeling desperate or whatever you want to call it clips Velvet Sky's bad knee rolls her up for a pin becoming the new knockouts champion is this now the full fledged heel turn that everybody's been thinking what's coming for Mickey James it looks like it is but coming up next is the official patching in of AJ Styles, or is it? We have no, we have no idea what's gonna happen. We'll have to wait and find out. Uh, AJ Styles come out with Bully Way for the, for the official patching in of AJ Styles. Uh, AJ comes out from it the same area. Bully gives him a speech about never walking alone when you're with the AJ Styles. Hands him his first beer of AJ's entire life. AJ chugs it down. Uh, Anderson holds out the cut for AJ. AJ goes to put it on when they're interrupted by uh, Kurt Angle who tells AJ he's basically disappointed in the way AJ's uh, turning out here and tells him to put on the cut so uh, and reminds him that they have a match coming up at Slammiversary where Angle will teach him a lesson. AJ puts the cut on. Angle tries to w rush the ring but gets clipped on his way and the Aces beat him down and hold him hold his hold him up by the arms Bully gives AJ the ball pin hammer tells him to take Angle out and AJ does by hitting him in the knee with the ball pin hammer mm. they toss Angle outside the ring and they all raise their hands giving the Aces head signals they turn towards the crowd with the backs to the camera and to AJ who's by in the back of all of them between them and the camera AJ spins dark around and hits him in the head with the hammer he hits I think it was Ox. He hits with the hammer and then washes out of the ring, back up the ramp, holding up the phenomenal hand signal on his gloves as the ace is ace, including Bully Way. Well, God, a shot. I guess AJ's really alone right now. He jumped on Angle and then jumped two members of Ace and Ace. Does this mean that AJ will eventually rejoin TNA in the fight against uh, Ace Aces and Ace? Will he uh, recruit others like the Monster Abyss and others that have not been in TNA for a while? We'll have to wait and see what Slammiversary is next Sunday. Next Thursday night, TNA starts at 9 o'clock. That's 9 to 11 every Thursday now. Starting next Thursday. See you then and see you off tomorrow night for SmackDown.